you need some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and the most reliable coins on the market right now. Make sure to use code Poodle for 20% off at checkout. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, we got the new content. We got new house rules, or should I say the first house rules of Madden 20. I'm excited. House rules was an awesome imp imp implementation. Yeah, I think I'm saying that right. Into Madden 19 last year. It was awesome. It was towards the end of the year when Madden was dying, though. So it wasn't as cool as it could have been, only because people cared about the game less. But the rewards were awesome. The gameplay was awesome. I hope it's a little more competitive than it was last year. Here we go. Here are the house rules. And if I'm, I wonder if they drop more flashbacks, which I need to go check in a second. But but before I get into that, while I'm checking, here, quick little intro, guys. If you're new to the channel, I just want to say thank you for all the new guys. All the old guys, all the OGs, thanks for all the support as of late, guys. I couldn't be where I am without you guys. We're almost at 6K subs, so if you're new to the channel, go down below, smash the sub button. Let's get to 6K subs by tomorrow morning. I think we can do it. Let's get to 10K by the end of this month. That'd be the greatest thing to ever happen to me if I could hit 10K by the end of this month. I know you guys can do it. So if you guys are new, go down below. Turn on the notification bell to get notified every time I post a brand new video. Set this video to 250 likes. And guys, comment down below what you think of these potentially new flashbacks if they come out. And also comment down below what you think of the house rules. I believe I'm going to go over the house rules mostly right now. And I'll check the flashbacks at the end. Okay, so I'm pretty sure there's no flashbacks. I mean, I could be entirely wrong, but let's go see this. So house rules, back to school, pack your bags. Because you're heading back to school in this week's event. You'll be playing in traditional college overtime. Get the top tiers. Earn a random 89 to 90 overall superstar master. I knew it. I called it. I called it. Xerxes told me I was wrong. I knew it. I told him it would be a nat 89 to 90 overall superstar. That is so awesome. I cannot wait. If I get Odell, I'm going to go crazy. Let's click into this real quick. So there's one win is 1,000 coins. 10 wins is 20 trophies. 20, 40, 50. 50 wins. Whoa. I don't mind the trophies. Oh, because it's overtime game. So the games are so quick. Okay. I was like, wow, 50 wins. That's crazy. 200 wins. Okay, so it's overtime game. So typically, if it's, if it's college overtime, I could be wrong. The way we did in high school was you start at the 25-yard line and you played OT and whoever scored first, it was over. So that is really cool. I'm not entirely sure where you'd find this, to be honest with you. I'm just going to click into this, click into that, click into that. Yeah, I think it'll take me there. Okay, so I'm assuming it's in head-to-head -head games. That is really awesome. A free 89-90 to 90 overall master. That means you can get Todd Gurley, Luke Keekley, D-Law, Pat Mahomes, Odell Beckham Jr., Stephon Gilmore, Zach Ertz, Harrison Smith. Those last two are kind of eh. But still, that's really cool. I wonder if I play next game. Oh, it's not going to show me. It's not really showing me the event rules. But from what I know, it's OT. So that pretty much means if you start in OT, the first one to score wins. Unless it's like college where you get two chances each. But the point is here is that those are going to be really, really quick games. So quite honestly, this could go very fast. Like 50 wins is the equivalent of like maybe 10 to 12 real games. Let's see. There we go, right there. Lead your team to the Super Bowl. So it says, per game, if you get 200 wins, 300 trophies. So I got to get those 200 wins. I got to at least try to so I can get. I need that Von Miller. I need those trophies. You get a much superstar 50. Per game win is 300. Per game loss is 100. Oh. Okay. So that's 300 coins and 100 coins per. 20 trophies, 50, 150. Okay, so even if I get only 100 wins, that's not bad. Definitely not bad. No kickoff. Start on opposite 25. Wow, I literally called this whole thing. I literally said it would start on the I would start on the 25 in the red zone. Start in the red zone in the 25. Whoever scores back to back, it's just like college. We did this in high school for me too. And you get a free 89 to 90 player. I called literally this whole promo. So my personal advice for starting in the red zone, right? I'll probably be running with Marcus Allen. Because running with Marcus Allen's OP. But also what you could do is I, I mean I personally recommend in this point, there's two there's multiple route combos I'd like in this point. I, I run this route combo where it's like on the outside you have a receiver doing an out post and one doing a, a flag like that. And that personally opens up the outside. You just, I throw that twice. It'll be A, possession catch, A in the end zone, easy touchdown. You know, like a flag route, if you guys know what a flag route is. Or if you run halfback wheel out of the New England Patriots playbook, literally you just have your number one receiver doing a post up the middle. Right when he splits the safeties, you either high point him or you throw it to him. Should be an easy touchdown every time for 25 yards. Or inside zone. Which I like to, I got a four verts. I audible some inside zone to the right, run right up the middle. That's, that's multiple good plays. It all depends. Being that you're going to be on the 25, it's going to be red zone defense, which is always a little bit harder to score on. So that's why, in my opinion, I love the run game in that reason. Or post, post up the middle, really just kill them. Now, as far as the 
just being overtime now, I'm not entirely sure as if you just the first person to score wins because the way I did it when I played this in high school when I was playing football is the way this worked is that you get two chances. Even if you score a touchdown, the other team still gets a chance. You pretty much got to stop them. Now you could take a field goal, and then you got to stop them. But they could take a field goal right back. And with the it's a video game, so obviously they're gonna we're both going to probably make the field goal. So I wouldn't recommend taking the field goal. Now let's go over the players you guys could get real quick for anyone that's new or not sure. Just so you can see the crop of talent you can get because this is pretty crazy. I'm so excited to start playing these soon. Let's go over to Mutt Superstars. So let's go over to, let's start with the 88s and 89s. Let's botch that. 88s, 89s real quick just so you guys can get an idea. There's Zach Ertz, Harrison Smith, D-Law, and Odell Beckham Jr. Now guys, before, actually, before I show you guys everyone and go over them real quick, remember I did do a video ranking all these. So if you guys want, you can go watch that video in depth to see which one that you probably want to get. I don't think it's a fantasy pack. I think it's random, but it's still cool to, I rank them from eight to one all the way down. So you guys just see exactly which ones I think are the best. So you know exactly where you stand with what you pulled, but I'll do a quick little overview for you guys. If you're only watching this video, so then you got Pat Mahomes, Todd Gurley, Gilmore and Keekly. So the worst two, like I said, in my opinion, the ones you really don't want are Zach Ertz and Harrison Smith. If you're Eagle and Vikings fans, then fine. That's, I guess that's okay. But Harrison Smith isn't a long-term card. He's too slow. Zach Ertz too is too slow. Don't recommend them. Then next on my list that I wouldn't that I wouldn't want would probably be. In my opinion, I probably wouldn't want. Okay, so Todd Gurley and Mahomes are awesome. Don't get me wrong. I wouldn't want Todd Gurley or Mahomes because first off, Todd Gurley won't start on my team. He doesn't. He just doesn't compare to Marcus Allen in any way, shape, or form in my eyes. Marcus Allen's the better back by far with the evasive and everything. So I wouldn't want Todd Gurley, but again, if you guys don't have Marcus Allen, he could be awesome for you guys. Pat Mahomes is the best quarterback in the game, but he won't be for long. So do I really want a quarterback that, I mean, I wouldn't mind because I could sell my Mahomes for 400K, but in reality, do I want to be stuck with a quarterback for a while? Not really. So I'd prefer it if I didn't get him again. I mean, if I did, I could just sell mine. It's whatever. But again, if you don't have him already, I guess that's cool. Now, next on the list, I'd probably want Mm, it's kind of tough here because I think Luke Kuechly. So Luke Kuechly's right in the middle. He's awesome because he's a middle linebacker. So even if you don't, if you have Shazier, he could be your second. He could be your first for now if you don't have Shazier. And then he could be your second in a month. And he has really good abilities. So he's going to be useful for quite a while. Now the next two I probably want are back at the 88-89s. I believe these are like the two and three. Is D-Law and Odell Beckham Jr. Now D-Law or Odell, I think I'd rather D-Law... I'm going to put D-Law like at three because D-Law is really good because of his abilities. But again, his stats don't really show for his abilities. So his abilities make up for it. But he's not a long-term answer. And I believe with all the ends you're going to be getting with Aaron Donald, Khalil Max, you have Von Millers, which you can put down at end. And then you're going to also have Reggie White and all the legends, Michael Strahan. So for my opinion, D-Law is good, but he's not the best. Second, I'm going to be going with Odell Beckham Jr. He's an awesome receiver. He's literally Tyreek Hill with hands and route running and open field elusiveness and open field ball carry moves. So... I love this Odell. He comes with really good abilities. Rack him up, streak specialist, double move elite, and cross specialist. So, awesome card to get out of this. I wouldn't mind him at all. But the number one guy, by far, far and away, which I'm happy that I actually pulled out of my first one. If I pull the same one twice, I will be livid. But, guys, if I can get, I got Stefan Gilmore. Best card that you can pull out of all these. They have an 85 speed, 88 excel, 88 agile, 84 jumping, 89 play rec, 92 man, 90, I mean, sorry, 83 zone, and 88 press. Lockdown cornerback and his abilities get even better shutdown, which is huge when he gets a few um I think it's incomplete forces incompletions He becomes like a he literally the shutdown corner. I, I start blitzing. I start blitzing away because I know he's not he's gonna lock him up Man up pick artist and tip drill huge abilities. I believe he's on the taller side too at six foot one Great great cornerback to have I really enjoy him So I mean any of these cards you guys get you're gonna be happy with right if I pull Zach Ertz, whatever He's my new tight end if I pull Harrison Smith. Okay, fine I'll put him at free safety or something if I pull Pat Mahomes, I sell my Mahomes. I pull Keekly, he's a second linebacker. Gurley, I guess I use him as a fullback or a backup running back. It is what it is. I use backup running back quite a lot, though, which is Philip Lindsay, so I wouldn't really mind it. Get D Law, it's whatever. I'll sell Reggie White. Like, I mean, there's no really no, you can't go wrong with the best cards in the game on your team, in my opinion. This is literally such a great event. I highly recommend that every single one of you guys go out and play this as soon as you can. But, guys, that is it for this video. I hope you guys did enjoy, and please don't don't miss out this opportunity. If you guys have the chance, go out and play this. Play this. Play this, play this. It's overtime. Even no matter how bad you are, you're going to score. You don't have to play it. Because four quarters, if you're not good at the game, I understand. But it's just it's just overtime. Just play it. Eventually, you're going to have to score. It's not hard. 50 wins is not hard on overtime. But, guys, if you're new to the channel, go down below. Drop a sub for your boy. Let's get to 6,000 subs by tomorrow. Go down below. Hit the noti bell to get notified every time I post a brand new video. Comment down below who you'd like to get from this and what you think of house rules if you're new to this 
house rules event for the first time. Let's get a like on this video. Let's get to 250 likes. And guys, that is about it for the video. Thank you so much for watching. I'm out. Peace.